Hey everybody, Alex from Corso here. Dave, also from Corso. You probably know because you've seen our earlier videos in the Ignition Explained series. Yep, I forgot what it was called. Damn. Ignition Explained. Everyone loves Alex. So I'm drinking my coffee. I'm drinking my water. No, you're supposed to take oh. a sip. Well, I took a sip Have you not water. watched the other like 50 videos? Okay. So this time we're going to talk about alarm notification and like all the options with alarm notification. Yes. So if you're doing anything with alarms, you probably want the alarm notification module. You need the alarm need. notification module, yes. Yeah. So without the alarm notification, you're, you could do alarms that show up on a like operator panel or yes. HMI on the floor or if somebody's watching at their desk. Alarm notification allows you to send out email alerts mm -hmm. on alarm conditions. Yeah. And then the other modules beyond that allow you to do SMS, so mm -hmm. text messages. Yep. Uh, integrate with Twilio for phone calls or SMS. Yes. Or do the vo voice notification module yes. for uh, voice, which is text-to-speech notifications that will basically call you and read you with a computerized voice what the alarm was. Mm -hmm. And then you can respond to yes, those. Yes, you can acknowledge the alarms that. via the phone, via email, via SMS. Mm -hmm. or they also allow you to set up alarm rosters and notification mm -hmm. pipelines. So what the roster is, is you can specify, like for Corso Care, we have mm -hmm. a Corso admin group. You can set up uh, different schedules for rosters and different groups. You could have... Uh, like a line one production roster, then mm -hmm. they get line one alarms. You could have a line two mm -hmm. production roster, and then you could have like lines one and two maintenance yeah. rosters, and you kind of get granular with that. And then in your pipeline, you define you know, how long does it need to be active before I send an alert? Mm -hmm. Is it when it's acknowledged, when it's cleared, when it happens? Uh, then you can do uh, escalations. So, you know, we wait 30 seconds before it's acknowledged, mm -hmm. then we alert the operator. Yes. Then we wait five minutes, then we alert the supervisor. Yes. Then we wait an hour, and then we alert the plant manager. Yes. And if at any point the alarm gets acknowledged, we can drop out of that pipeline. Mm -hmm. So if the operator acknowledges the alarm right away, it doesn't, acknowledge, or it doesn't alert the supervisor. To be able to go ahead and do that. Pause this one. That's my phone call. This is Alex. So... After Alex so graciously took a 45-minute phone call, we're back. And we're going to talk about, like, the different types of notifications, yes. which is approximately where we left off. Yeah, so we were talking about pipelines yep. and dropping things out with supervisors yep. and all that. So then, uh, through the basic alarm notification mm -hmm. module, that comes with email alerts. You can send out emails through the alarm notification pipeline. And yep. the, the pipeline will stay the same. You'll just change a couple configuration mm -hmm. settings. Um, if you're using the Twilio module, yep. the uh, voice notification module, mm -hmm. or the SMS module. Yes. Uh, the SMS module, I, personally, I unless you already have an SMS uh, modem mm -hmm. in your plant that you're using for something else mm -hmm. and you're migrating to this, I would just go with the Twilio module. That's what we have. Yeah. And that's what we integrate for most of our customers. Yeah. Is, uh, for Corso Care, we're using the Twilio module. Uh, the benefit to me for the Twilio module is it gives you phone capability mm -hmm. and SMS capability through Twilio. Mm -hmm. um, it does give you a third dependent or a second system you need to worry about. Yeah. And, but you don't really need to, to know much beyond setting up an account. And, and Twilio is pretty solid and it's, what, a couple of cents per text message? Yeah. And if you had an SMS modem, you would still, depending on your plan, yeah. pay for texts or whatever. But. So Twilio will give you that capability, mm -hmm. or the voice notification will send you a phone call through the text-to-speech engine in Ignition, and you yes. can pick different voices. In different languages. Yep. Which is kind of cool. And you could, theoretically, I've never tried it myself, create your own custom voice modules. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a, a way to do that. I've never done it. We should make a Darth Vader one. That would be fun. Uh, but those are all pretty good. They're not, like,
like human voices. I mean, they're kind of robotic, but they do yeah. sound good. Um, and you could also integrate different uh, notification mm -hmm. modules together, so you can have the voice notification and the Twilio and SMS and alarm emails all at the same time. Yes. Or the same alarm. Like for Corso Care, we have alarms get sent out to Slack, to Twilio, and email. Yes. Uh, Slack is not a module. That's something that we integrated with Slack and their API. If we could do a video on that, that's that, cool. that would be a pretty cool video. Uh, there's also somebody else at one point recently asked for uh, WhatsApp and WeChat. Was the name of yeah WeChat yeah so I looked into that I haven't done it yet but that could also be another yeah. integration to get um, alarm notifications to I don't know anyone who uses WhatsApp or WeChat in a like professional setting like Slack is kind of a professional yeah. tech ish thing WhatsApp and WeChat are more of a it's what most of Asia uses. Mm -hmm for their general communications, including like phone calls and emails right. and text messages and stuff like that, at least in my experience. Yeah. Uh, the other thing you get with the alarm notifications is alarm consolidation. Mm -hmm. So if you get like 25 alarms, you can set it up to consolidate those into one phone call Ooh. based on like a frequency or a time duration rather than getting 25 phone calls. How many people do you think got 25 phone calls until that part got A lot. Added? A lot, yeah. I've definitely done that, like when testing Slack, didn't check that box and sent out a few hundred alarms like right away, but you know, live and learn. Yeah. And then you want to change the period between it sets alarms, because I think the baseline is like a second. We, we have once tested alarms and woke up to like 42,000 email alarms. Mm -hmm. and it took me 45 minutes to delete out of Google. That wasn't Ignition, though. That was another lesser product. That was that was Alex. But, it was but I'm me just saying, writing a this script. is one of those things that you guys want to make sure yeah. that you look at. Uh, the other thing with alarm notifications is, uh, generally, you would have an uh, like alarms at CorsoSystems.com yes. or info or whatever you use for your alarms. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure that's on your own domain if you set up. Alarm Corso alarms at gmail.com that generally violates their terms of service. When you get 42,000 emails, yeah, they canceled our account. That's why it stopped. It would not have stopped otherwise. So that's amazing. Yeah, lesson learned. So, alarms if you want alarms outside of like an HMI screen, you're going to want the alarm notification module, and then most people, in addition to that are going to pick Twilio or SMS and voice notifications to send out their text messages and uh, voice notifications beyond the emails. Mm -hmm. And I think every Corso customer and everyone we've talked about as a baseline has the normal alarm notifications module. I can't think of an application in which you would be building a functioning system and not have alarming because that's just how important alarming is. Mm -hmm. So you've got your vision, you probably have your SQL bridge, you probably have your tag historian, and now you probably have your alarm notifications. Mm -hmm. Yep. And this is way easier to set up than any other solutions out because there is software packages yep. just for alarm notifications. Uh, but this is easier and it's way easier than dealing with turret phones and this, the older style of things that existed in the early 2000s. Did I miss the reporting module? Vision, SQL Bridge, Tag Historian, Reporting, yeah, Alarm. Yeah, one, two, three, four, yeah. five, now we're in the middle yeah. of the... So, thanks everyone for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. I'm drinking my coffee. I actually got some during Alex's phone call. Alex is my water. You gotta take a sip of it. trying to stay hydrated. It's a struggle. Yeah, thanks for watching. And stay tuned for the next Ignition Explained yeah. video. Um, and then... That would be a great video if we do our own voice. Yeah, that would be...
would be cool. We'll have to look into how to do that. Maybe loser of the football pool has to make <laughs> their own voice module. Yeah, because I think it involves reading like syllables and like it creates a voice from it. Oh, okay. I, think. I was thinking you could just pick the top X number of this is 98% of our alarms and we just read those five things. That could be too. 